Boom. Ball goes flying. Yeah, but you know what makes it so funny? The fact that you used to do that to your coach back in the day. So. That's why you did it. And that's why I stopped telling you stuff. I'm like, I can't. I'm not telling him nothing. I got it, coach. Well, trust me. I ain't. But see, y'all, you, you was bold. This game one. <laughs> well, I said everybody in the stands is He called me one day. It was after, the, you know, leading to the end of the season. I, and said what his dreams were and what he wanted to do. Since nine years old, I wanted to go to Ohio State. I want to be a Buckeye. That's what I want to do. I want to play college football. Um, I said, I believe that you can play college football at a really high level. To me and Sean's relationship is so good is because he's my mentor, he guides, he's my guidance counselor. He fills the void of the father figure that I, I didn't have. He seems to be there for me. But I view the relationship like as a son for myself. This is the things that I would say to my son. He says the things that you might necessarily not want to hear, but you need to hear. I was like, wow, he really can get you to go to college. I mean, he's bringing them in. So I said, that's kind of what just gave me, put my trust and made me put my trust in him. This kid, Tyvis Powell, he does it all. I'm telling you, this is what they're looking for at the next level. If he continues to make plays, he will surely be an early pick at the next level. I think he's a second round, third round type of value. And when he gets in the camp, he's definitely going to prove that whatever organization chooses him, they made the right pick. Thomas Powell is one of a kind. He's special. I wish it was like a whole way the defense could just stay together forever because I feel like we was one of the best defenses in the nation. We might as well just stay together. So NFL teams just watching this, just just try to shoot for all 11 of them. I mean, it might not be possible. It's just worth a try. <laughs> I, I caught no fresh cut track, bro. <laughs> I miss being with my boys, but practice? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I got to learn from some of the older cats that was there. You know, they, they kind of helped me learn stuff, you know, how to train a certain way and what to look for on tape and stuff like that. And then my junior year, I became like this voice in the secondary because I guess I made plays and, you know, people had some respect for me. He's looking good. He's moving well. He feels the healthiest he's ever felt. He gets to the end and he says, you know, I think I want to go ahead and leave. I felt like I achieved everything that I needed to achieve there. You know, I won the national championship. I was the team captain. I made plays, big time plays. Before the bowl game, I informed the coaches, you know, this would probably be the Fiesta Bowl would be my last game as a Buckeye. You know, I had a bunch of push and pulls from them. You know, they, a lot of people didn't agree with it, but at the end of the day, it was my decision, and I felt like that's what I wanted to do, and I felt like I was ready for it. That chapter of my life is wrapped up, you know? It's time to go to the next thing, and the next thing is the NFL. Driving to the Senior Bowl, man. That's crazy, man. I never thought I'd be in this. I just need to go out there, and I'm gonna just give it my all, man. So go ahead and just ball till I fall. 
three, over three, ready? Right now, right, now, right. from a little boy who used to cry all the time um, to a grown 22 year old man. He didn't want to take a picture. <laughs> that was before life here. I definitely, I definitely want to help all my immediate family in any way I can, but most, most importantly, I want to help my mom. He told me about the things, the hardships at home. And his whole thing was, is what I want to do is to be able to help my mother. The lights was off, they lost the heat, lost cable. And it was definitely some days where basically my motivation was to go to school because if I didn't go to school, I wouldn't eat because we didn't have no money for the food. It's, it kind of inspires me never to ever go back to that lifestyle again. And he talked about these hardships, but as I said to him, those don't have to be yours. That don't have to be your story. I definitely want to see my family do good before anybody else. I'd rather see them doing good while I'm struggling. I can't tell you how many dudes, especially in the city, as black males, we sit around and talk about, we gonna help mom out. I'm gonna go to the league and I'm gonna do this. It's easy to talk about going to the league. You can provide working at Arby's, just bring the check home and give it to mom. There's $236 right there. You're providing, I'm helping. You wanna help or do you wanna make a way? Change the Powell family life name forever. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and good luck. Appreciate sure it, God. Yes, it's, it's, it's wherever he wants you to be, okay? You just going to perform and do what you have to do. <laughs> So they did something to they did something to hide it. To hide, yes. Show starts again. Just wait for the EPA. What, what time? Seven. Seven? Seven. 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 I always get the times. So tomorrow's <clears throat> rounds two and three. Two and three.